Hi, welcome back. The last mathematical topic that we're going to cover in this 060 section, before going into lots of word problems, of course, um, is solving linear equations with one variable. An example of a linear equation with one variable would be something like this. 6x plus 5 equals 17, and you need to solve for x. This is a linear equation because all the powers on your x's, you just have one x in this problem, uh, but the power on that x is 1. There's no square on the x or cube on the x or anything like that. Um, it's one variable because the only variable in the problem is x. Everything else is a, is a number. So uh, to solve this equation, what we need to do is we need to get everything with an x in it, every term that has an x in it on one side of the equation, and everything else on the other side of the equation. So in this case, there's only one term with an x in it, it's 6x. So we need to get that on one side of the equation by itself. We need to get everything else under the other side of the equation. So in order to do that, what we do uh, is subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. Subtracting 5 from both sides of the equation cancels this 5 with that negative 5. And you end up with 6x all by itself on the left-hand side of the equation, which is what we want. Now on the right-hand side of the equation, we just have to subtract. 17 minus 5 equals 12. Great. Now the last step in solving for x is just getting x by itself. Um, x is multiplied by 6 in this case. So what we have to do in order to get rid of that 6 is divide by 6. You'll notice when we do that, that the 6's are just going to cancel each other out. But we can't just divide one side of the equation by 6, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 6. So what we get is x equals 12 over 6, or x equals 2. And that's your answer. Now we can check this answer. Uh, let's check it. We can check this answer by taking this x equals 2, plugging it in to the original equation that we were given. 6x plus 5 equals 17. We can do substitution, substitute x equals 2 into this problem, and make sure that that equation is true. So you get 6 times 2 is 12, plus 5 equals 17. And that just tells you that 17 equals 17. So when you plug x into the original equation that you were given, uh, it checks out. Both sides of the equation are equal. All right, so how about another example? They're not always going to be as simple as that first one. Let's give this one a shot. Now this is a slightly more complicated problem. Um, the reason being is that there's an x in two different spots. Notice that the power on each of those x's is still 1, so it's still a linear problem. We've also added um, some parentheses into this problem. There's a 3, and it's multiplying this x plus 2 term. The basic steps are still going to be the same, but we have to add something in the beginning. What we have to do first is distribute any parentheses. Distribute through any parentheses. So what we need to do is distribute that 3 through the parentheses. So 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times 2 is 6. And copy everything else down the way, the way it is. Just like that. Now our goal in the first problem was to take every term that has an x in it and keep it on one side of the equation and take everything else and move it to the other side of the equation. So in this case, we have two terms. Both of those terms have x's on them. So we need to keep those on that side of the equation, move everything else to the other side of the equation. So we're going to end up with 3x minus 5x on the left-hand side of the equation. But how could we actually, how could we get that on the left-hand side of the equation? The answer is, well, we had to subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. That way, those 6's canceled out of the left-hand side of the equation. And on the right-hand side of the equation, we're just left with minus 4, minus 6. Now what we can do is combine those two terms that have the x's in them. Uh, 3x minus 5x is minus 2x. 
basically we just take the 3 minus the 5 is the negative 2 and leave the x on there. We'll talk more about um, these polynomials in a future video, so you can check that out in a minute. Um, negative 2x is what we get on the left hand side of the equation. On the right hand side of the equation, negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. So we're almost finished. The only thing we have to do is get x by itself. And the way that we can do that is just divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. When we divide the left-hand side of the equation by negative 2, you notice that the negative 2's just cancel each other out. But in order to make that a legal operation, we have to do the same thing to the right-hand side of the equation. So what we get is x equals negative 10 divided by negative 2. Now, whenever you're dividing two negative numbers, you're just getting a positive number. In this case, 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So there you go. There's your answer. And that is the basics of solving linear uh, equations with one variable. If you want some more practice, go to the written review sheet, 060.pdf, and there should be a bunch of problems there for you to do.